Coming up next, a matchup for the UFC Bantamweight Division title. There's only one king of Rio de Janeiro, and you are looking at him, Jose Aldo, making the walk here for yet another big, high-profile UFC fight. One, if not the greatest featherweight of all time, is Jose Aldo. Not often do I get starstruck, but to watch Aldo make the walk in Rio is truly a one-of-a-lifetime experience. I'm glad I got to do it. He is a star of the highest order. Aldo's title run was something to behold. It was so special. Oh, yeah. Every time you watched him, you knew that the fight could end at any moment, and you knew that you were watching one of the most skilled fighters across the board. And the reason, the primary reason most believe he is the best featherweight of all time, seven successful defenses, to your point, in that first reign as the UFC featherweight. All right, here he is, the UFC Bantamweight Champion. He has successfully defended the title in the past. A decidedly different challenge, though, here tonight. Prevailing wisdom is that this will be his toughest title defense to date. The odds suggest that this is a close matchup on paper, but he believes he's one of the GOATs, one of the greatest of all time. If you want to be that, certainly got to make good on this title defense tonight. With that backdrop, here is the tale of the tape for this Bantamweight Championship fight. Jan is 27, Aldo is 33. He will have a three-inch reach advantage. We set it inside the octagon, here's Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Bergliata. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Toyota Center in Houston, Texas. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Bantamweight Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a Muay Thai kickboxer, holding a professional record of 30 wins, seven losses. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, presenting the challenger, Jose Aldo. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 16 wins, two losses. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Presenting, waiting, defending, undisputed UFC bantamweight champion of the world, Pepper. All right, this is for the UFC Championship. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, back your corners, come out fighting. Just misses there with the left. 
Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Checks that leg kick. Throwing that jab now again. The fighter evades. Oh, that's a nice strike. Try to establish that jab. And he landed the right hand there. Big kick lands. That right hand hurt him a little Some bit. Some nice back and forth action here. Single collar tie now. And they separate. He changes the angle, finds the right spot to land that punch to the head from the clip. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Oh, he slipped well there to avoid the left hand coming back. Just over three minutes to go round one. Aldo gets hit by that kick to the midsection. You gotta do better defensively. Well, defense doesn't necessarily win championships in MMA, but he's doing a nice job blocking these shots. He's not allowing his opponent to get any damage off on him by blocking all these attacks. 30 total strikes unofficially have landed for Piotr Young. Well, he continues to find the openings tonight. Beautiful connection with a the punch there. Accuracy at its best. Beautiful technique on the straight right hand. He's got a serious right punch, and he went to it effectively there. It is his bunny shot, and he will continue to throw it until he finds a knockout. Can't take many of those. You better check. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Able to thwart the single leg takedown attempt there. That punch to the body does a lot of damage. Well, he's doing a nice job here blocking these shots. The chin is tucked, the hands are high. Pretty good job defensively thus far. Great job defensively. He's seeing everything coming. Beautiful punch. Spinning back oh, Circling to his right. So holding on to him here, not doing a ton, perhaps just looking to recover. Out of range with that one. Flips to avoid the right. Oh, single collar tie here. Volume hook shots to the body here as he continues to work out of the clinch. He's doing a really good job of digging to the body every time he comes in close. I really love the way that he's staying the course. He's really following the game plan of get to the body if he was going to win this fight. Wow. Seconds remain in the round. Aldo gets caught by the solid uppercut there. He's a hard guy to hit. That one certainly found the target. All right, single collar tie now. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Powerful leg kick land. Oh, that straight punch is going to be a real problem if they can't make the adjustment. A real problem. He needs to move his head defensively if he's going to avoid getting hit so many times in the face. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Big power shot there. <laughs> Round two next. All right, no Telestrator for DC tonight, but we'll get you some replays. And if you like face punching, that was a good round. Yeah, where's my Telestrator, man? I want to draw this action. But yeah, John, you're right. It was the striking, it was the punches that really did allow him to take control of this round. All right, round two is upon us. Piotr Young and Jose Alba. 
big fall from Butch Lance. That one gets back to range. A oh, head kick attempt. It is blocked by Alvin. Trying to land the elbow there to no avail. Oh, that right hand is on point. Aldo's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Nice straight punch. Well, oh, yeah! Aldo's hook shot blocked, though, by the defense. Nice job getting that guard up to prevent any further damage. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Slips the shot. That one snuck in. Nice strike. Huge damage from that door. Back and forth we go! So the numbers continue to pile up. 71 total strikes have landed for Piotr Jan. And landing with just 39% accuracy tonight against Jose L. Nice loop and punch. And they separate. Ooh, he landed a huge hook there. to avoid the punch there. Nice slip by Alden. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. He got the turn in that kick. St. Clou would be proud. Wow! All right, right into side control. Upper body strength figures to be put to good use here. Yes, absolutely. And you got to look for his opponent to turn back into him. He should chase guillotine. But the opponent turns to the opposite side. He can take his back, throw his hooks in, try to choke, or flatten them out and just go for the finish. Oh, nice job by him there to slip that off. Just misses with the straight right. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Oh! Oh! Straight right. Well, that'll quiet the storm. Shot blocked by Aldo. Oh! Oh, Superman punch. Not always easy to execute. He did so there. Good stick. Oh, you gotta like the output here. So aggressive with the strikes, he continues to light him up. Gotta be careful here not to gas out, of course, but you gotta like the offense we're seeing from him, especially in this round. Trying to do damage now with the kick, that's a miss. Oh, he lands the Superman punch, how about it? Nice defense there, huge block. 10 minutes in the books. 
All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round. We had a knockdown there, but not a knockout. No, it wasn't a knockout, but you can't take those shots. That big punch landed, and it sat him down. If he gets hit with another one of those, it might be good night, Irene. here down the stretch. Not as much offense earlier in the fight. He is making up for lost time now. I mean, he's cutting down the size with these beautiful oh. legs. Ooh, diving punch lands. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Well, he's more than content to work off of his back, DC, where he has been a magician in his UFC career. Sometimes when you do that, the choke or the yes. submission can get tighter, but he was able to evade it there. Yes. All right, got to be careful playing around inside his guard. Absolutely, John. That's why you don't sit in a full guard. When you sit in the full guard, it gives these guys too many opportunities to chase submissions, and now he's jumping on a triangle. Oh, big punch land. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. Beautiful kick. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Back up. Nice 
punch lands over the top. Look at how he drives his knee. Right into the oh! oh! It's over! Oh! Wow! Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. Now we go inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer for the official decision.